Hey everyone! This is, well, okay. So if you watched my show until number 37, um, this will look familiar. One, that right there, is a stack of finished objects that I had to like pick up for the thumbnail. It was it's pretty heavy. Um, also, I'm wearing the same outfit because it's been like an hour since I recorded that. Um, I mentioned that I had some stuff that I had purchased or had received um, that I wanted to share with you and I wasn't sure and anyway I just decided I'm going to go ahead and do it because I wanted to talk about some stuff. So this is um, basically a couple months worth of acquisitions. <laughs> this is not everything. Um, I did order, um, I participated in the nitpicks sale, the big sale. I did record that. Um, and then I just never put it up. I bought a lot of yarn during that sale. Um, I was really lucky and I got some of the dollar deals. So, yeah. <laughs> I ended up getting that. But I did buy something for you guys out of that. So, um, look for that in the new year. Because I won't have time to organize it all before the end of the year anyway. So, that'll be coming in the next year. But anyway. Here is stuff that I'm going to show you now. All right, so I bought a spinning wheel. <laughs> that was the biggest thing. Made its own separate video though. Um, because of that, that meant like I was not really keen on Christmas being this like big lavish expense thing or anything like that. My husband and I normally are not um, the type to go out and spend, you know, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars on, on each other just because it's Christmas. Like, I don't know. One year for Christmas, we were like, we just, we went without presents and we adopted a cat instead. <laughs> like we're those kind of people. Like we, it doesn't, I don't know. It's not necessarily about that. So, um, yeah, so we, uh, didn't really do, I mean, I, we were like, we exchanged gifts and things, but, um, you know, the spinning wheel was the major gift of the time, I think. So because I bought that spinning wheel, I had to buy some more fiber, right? So, um, well, actually before I do that, I will show you, I got my last club shipment from Hello Yarn. I was in her fiber club. She does like a three month, I did a three month run of the fiber club. This color is peak color. I don't know if that's going to show. Yeah, that's about right. Um, it's got some of those like olive -y greens and let's see, let's do this one. Yeah, that's better. Um, this one is UK Shetland wool 70% and 30% Tessa silk. So, yay! Um, I did not renew the um, club colorway. One, because I wasn't going through it as much. And two, the three, um, three club shipments I received, while different um, fiber content, they were kind of very similar colors, which I like, but they're very similar colors. So I decided to not renew that one. And, I, and I'll join back in when she has, um, like when she opens the wait list again. But for now, yeah. I also received um, some fiber from Amy, who's Ming Mao. I did an unboxing of that, so you can check that out. Um, and then it's at the very bottom. <laughs> so I don't really want to get all this out. But if you look, see right there, that white there at the bottom, that is eight ounces of Cordale from um, Wool Gatherings on Etsy. And then this basket, there's actually two here. You can see. This is from, there's a tag on that somewhere. This is from Target. <laughs> Target. Um, from their dollar deal section or whatever, it was $3. Or they were each, they were $3 a piece. Um, my fiber stash no longer would support any more fiber, so I bought those to store the excess for now. 
But while I was at Wool Gather, or while I was at Wool Gatherings, I bought the Cordell. I'm pretty sure it's Cordell. No, I'm second guessing myself. But I'm pretty sure it's Cordell. Okay, I'm just going to take it out. This is happening. Dropping stuff. It is. It's Cordell. Um, here's the ones from Amy, just as a recap. So soft, so squishy. Um, but anyway, so I bought this is also from this is also Corey Dale from Wool Gathering, and this color is gold brocade. It's very much gold. There's um, some green in there, which is not. I'm gonna have to work with the lighting on this because I don't know. Oh wait, oh. Maybe that's maybe I need to not get as close. I'm still figuring out my camera because it's been not very long. But it's very, very pretty. Um, very nice. And so I bought that and then um oh no, I'm sorry, that's not wool gathering, that's three waters farm. I'm sorry. That's three waters farm. <laughs> Basically, people had sales for like Cyber Monday, Black Friday, that kind of stuff, and I partook. Um, all right, so I'm talking about three waters farm. I also bought this is Falkland, and this one's called Throw a Kiss. Um, it has more, yeah, that's about accurate. It's got a little, slightly more, um, teal in it, but very pretty. Again. And it is four ounces of squishiness. I knew, I knew I bought something else from Wool Gathering. <laughs> and here is that. This is, um, VFL. Four ounces. Um, the color on it, it had a color name. It's not on here, but I know it. Or maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it didn't have a color name, but it's very pretty. So if it doesn't have a color name. I'm gonna call it something pretty. Um, it's kind of similar to that a little bit. Some of the colors are a little similar, but um, it's just really fun, and I I just liked it, so I bought it. <laughs> If people had to stop having sales, I would stop buying things. Okay, so that's all of the fiber that I bought. Yes, that is all the fiber that I bought. Um, that's actually not true. I bought more fiber. It's just not got here yet. <laughs> I need to, it won't be here probably for about a month because it's like um, the dyer has like a you know, it's a pre-order or whatever, so, or it's a dyed to order, so I won't get it for a little while, but I need to get to spinning. Anyway, um, I did buy, some stuff. I mentioned that I bought project bags and everything, and I did. So this is from, um, Twist Fiber Studio. All of this is from Twist Fiber Studio. I bought this bag. Super cute. There's the tag. Am I getting rid of that? Um, I don't well. I bought yarn. And I bought project bags. And I bought sock links, which are it's still yarn. Um, alright, here we go. I'll just do the project bags first. So there's this one. Cute leaves. Or not leaves, feathers. And then she had this one. She was having a ridiculous sale. Like, I mean, a good ridiculous, but it was like 50% off. I mean, I'm not trying to put the blame on anybody, but come on. P.S. If you check right now, I think she still has a sale going on. So, yeah. It's Twist Fiber Studios on Etsy. 
from Susie Twist Fiber Studio. And she has a website, twistfiberstudio.com. I'll show you the card on the thing in a minute. Um, then she has this. She had this. Do you see this chipmunk right here? I had to buy him for the chipmunk. Um, you might have seen this pattern elsewhere. And here's the back of them. Got a tail. Um, this is a Tula Pink print. There we go. Hit myself. She has her handles on the side, which I, I really like. Um, it's kind of nice. I have a bunch that have the handles like with on the um, zippers. And that's fine, too. I like a handle. But um, all but her linings are all just like white, plain white. And this feels interface to me. Yeah, they're interface. So yeah, I just, I had to. I had to. Honestly, it was very hard to choose. <laughs> it was really hard to choose. So then she had sock links. These are double sock links. Um, so that means that feasibly when I knit them like if I do socks um it should they should match we'll see I have gauge issues sometimes <laughs> but this one is a like a fun tie-dyed loveliness love it love it love it love it here's her card so you can see And again, I bought this on Etsy, so um, I'm not sure if you go to her website if it directs you over there or if, you know, if that's her blog when she has a shop separate or whatever. But this is really fun. And I kind of just, I just, I love it. It's so fun. Um, I got one that was like crazy colors, yay. And then I got one that was a little bit more subdued, which um, I'm not sure if this will be... Um, This might be mints. I don't know. We'll see. So this is just like kind of purples with a little like, you know, multiple shades of things. Um, and both of these are 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards. So yay! I really like it. Um, I, I don't know. I like a sock link. They're really fun too. Like I know, like I just kind of want to like wear them as is, but that's, you know, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe I would. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I really liked this one. She had some of this. She still had in the store the last time I checked. I'm not buying more. I'm not buying more. All right. Then I buy yarn. <laughs> um, this is called Ooh Girl. I don't know if that's how she pronounces it, but that's how I pronounce it. Um, this is on her Cumberland DK base, which is 100% Superwash Merino, 100 grams, 274 yards. And it is just all of the colors. Can you see that? Come on. It's lovely. It's really fun. Um, I did look up sort of what the colorway looked like when it was worked up. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited. And then I got one. Honestly, if she had this one in a sweater quantity of this base, I would have bought it. She did not. She had it in fingering, like a sweater quantity in fingering. But I'm not going to do more fingering white sweaters, right? Anyway, so this one is that. Oh, so pretty. It's a little bit more green than my screen showing, but that's probably just my um, my monitor. It's weird. So this is the um, Nantahala DK base, which is 100% superwash merino, 115 grams, 250 yards. So that's what a little thinner than that one? No. This is a little thicker. Yes, it's a little thicker. So yeah, I really, it's just so, I love this color. Absolutely love this color. And I will probably at some point 
see if I can get a smaller quantity of this color because I love it so freaking much. Love it. I'm going to show it to you. However, if she gets a sweater quantity in there and you steal it from me, like if you get in there and you like carjack me, I'll be like, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, so I really like that. And she has, um, like I said, I, I'm almost positive she still has a sale going on. I saw on Instagram, I think she was talking about she had a sale. So you should go check her out if you're interested. Um, I bought, uh, I showed you on the last one, I bought this little Notions tin with an alpaca guy on it. Yeah, super cute. That was from the Sexy Knitter on Etsy, and I think that's her Instagram name too. This I bought, this is, um, I, I've never been able to catch one of her updates, because I did this time. It's a Stitch Stopper from... That's why are you doing this to me? <laughs> it's from jeldy.etsy.com and it has a little upside down, apparently. For real? It has a little sheet that she, okay. I'm trying to show this to you in the quickest fashion, but. So these are little hand felted balls and there's a little like needle felted sheep on it. How cute. Right? It's just so cute. I I happen to catch it. So how this works is you basically just put your needle through there and you use this little metal piece or the little metal ring to kind of secure it. And it also has a lobster claw. And in case you want to just carry it around or use it as a progress keeper, I guess carry it around. It's probably so you can actually hook it onto something. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, so I bought books. Well, uh, a couple of these were Christmas presents. And then the um, then two other ones, I was just like, I told my husband, you know, just he was going to get me a couple of books. I knew he was going to get me a couple of books. And I ordered some stuff from nitpicks when they had their sale they had a bunch they had some books they they didn't have their book sale on but they had some books on sale and then they had a 20% off coupon on top of that so yeah so I bought a couple of books knowing that he I was like oh he can just get them for me that's fine um so the two that I got I basically just picked out for myself were the um this one is the knitting all around stitch stitch dictionary i have um her other dictionary which is up down all around stitch stitch dictionary i got this one because you can see here see these like color work looking ones that is called mosaic knitting and i really i'm gonna try that this year um this is by wendy bernard I'm excited. I've taken a look at it. Um, this one has the spiral binding, so it lays flat. Um, but on the back of it, the binding, the rings are exposed. Um, I don't know. I would prefer them covered, just because I catch the I catch them on thing. Um, this book also has the spiral binding, but it doesn't have the thing on the back on the doesn't have the rings exposed. This is by it's the Ann Bud um, Handy Book of Top Down Sweaters. And it has just um, basically a lot of different charts, basically just based on your gauge and all this stuff on how it's just a really good sort of base line for making multiple kinds of sweaters. And it's top down because did I mention? my set and sleeve issue <laughs> but um it does have some patterns in it i really like this one so this is for you know different yarns and gauges and all kinds of sizes and all kinds and all of that stuff so it's really fun um and i think it'll be a really good resource so 
and this is the book I was buying this one for sure and then the other two I mean I was buying this one for me <laughs> and I was like this one I'm keeping out I don't care um I'm not wrapping this one up I'm waiting so I bought this this is yarn texture by Jillian Moreno um she is she works for Nitty, right yes She's like the, she says she's the number two at nitty.com. Um, this one is really, as a, as a new spinner, and I really consider myself a new spinner, even though I've been spindle spinning for a while, because quite frankly, my um, output on that, not that much, because I mean, just, it just takes longer. So I know stuff, and even then, even just doing, even what I know on the spindle, it doesn't exactly translate to the wheel but anyway so she I mean this is a really great resource it's lovely like really nice color stuff color photographs um she gives really good um comparisons between stuff she should I mean like there's a little bit of everything and well actually there's a lot of it of everything it's not like it just sort of touches on stuff I mean I've learned quite a lot um and I've not even read the book completely thoroughly I mean I've read the book but I've not um sat down and read the entire thing I read I've skimmed it all read a couple of the chapters really really in depth I really like it um and this also has patterns in it um you can see on the back there are some of the patterns that are in the book um, there was one pattern and I can't remember, I probably won't be able to find it now, but there was one pattern in here that I really liked and I was like, oh, I would probably make that. Um, I don't think I'll be able to find it. I feel like it was one of the first ones. Apparently not. <laughs> oh, here it is. All right. So I'm trying to find... Isn't that cute? I really like that. So I have been recommending this to everyone I know who spins that doesn't already have it. <laughs> um, yeah, you should, if you have the chance, you should get it. If you're interested in learning about it, you maybe can check your library. Um, it's a fairly new book. I'm, I can't remember when it came out, but I feel like it wasn't that long ago. So your library may not have it if they're not like up to date with stuff. Let's see. Um, it just says it just says 2016. Sometimes it'll say in the bibliography, not bibliography, the title page. Um. Anyway. Yay! I mean, it's really, it has, like, good information on how to, how to guess, get, like, how to spin, how to spin the same thing differently to get different results, which is really, you know, something that I'm really interested in and, you know, hope I can learn. And then there were, then I got two more books for Christmas. Um, this is... I've been, these have been on my wish list for a while. Um, this is the Custom Socks by Kate Atherley. I'm sorry about my phone going off its email or something. Um, Kate Atherley. It has um, sock patterns in here too. But I was really interested in this about the fit. Because um, I don't know, like, I just want to make sure that, like, if I'm spending the time making socks for myself that they are one going to fit correctly because I've had issues with like slipping um which maybe I'm not making maybe them making them tight enough I don't know but um I feel like maybe I don't know the heel is like the big part which I'm sure is probably the biggest part for most people but that's where I have the biggest issue with fit um I do think a heel flap so far of the of the 
socks that I have knitted. I think a heel flap fits me the best, but I don't like doing that one. So if I can find another heel that fits like that, that is like as easy as say like the fish lips kiss heel, that would be great. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try a bunch of different heels and stuff and we're going to see what happens. And then this one, <laughs> This one came about, this one was, this one was put on my list when I was complaining about the cuff down, or not the cuff down, that's a sock, <laughs> the set in sleeve on my um, Flaming June cardigan, how I just thought I was not enjoying, enjoying it. So I put this on my list and then my husband gave it to me for Christmas. So this is the, um, Top down reimagining set in sleeve designs. Um, it's by Elizabeth Darty um, with Quince and Co. Quince and Co. That's uh, my yarn house. They make beautiful yarns and natural fibers. That's what it says about about them. Um, so this one, I'm I've not read through this one. I just kind of skimmed through it a little bit. There are some patterns in here too, but I just want to make sure that like, at least from what I, my initial reading through here is that they have you construct the stuff in such, or the sleeve in such a way and the top part of the, of your sweater in such a way. So that way you can go out after the fact and pick up stitches and go from the top down, which I think would be easier. I think there's like, there'll be short rows involved and stuff like that just to kind of get the out. I don't know what that would be called. Because if your sleeve ends here, but your arm ends here, like the top of your arm ends here, you have to get there pretty quickly. You know. Don't know what I'm talking about. Not technical at all. Um, but there are, you know, I'm really excited about this one because I, I'm going to just try it with the next sweater that I make that will work with it and we're going to see. We're going to see. There are other, I know there's like contiguous set in sleeves and there's, um, there's some other ones. Cause when I, when I was really like, is there any other way I can do this? <laughs> um, I looked it up, but at that, at that point for that, that cardigan, no, <laughs> I was in too deep. Um, but next time, because there will be a next time because I want all of the cardigans and sweaters. All right, so these next three things I'm gonna show you have zero to do with yarn or fiber or whatever. So if you don't care about Harry Potter, you, you know, feel free to go ahead and, you know, and be done, I'm fine with that. Um, but if you wanted to see it, then that's fine. So my husband knows I love Harry Potter because if you talk to me for more than five minutes, maybe not even that long, I'm probably gonna mention something about Harry Potter. That sounds fake. That makes me sound really annoying. <laughs> I promise I don't talk about Harry Potter all the time. But I do like I do like the world of Harry Potter. Not related, well, related, but completely not on topic. I went and saw the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find the movie. Loved it. Also, because I know how in depth the world is probably going to get, my like my brain is just keeps working. But anyway. So my husband got me some of the Funko Pops because I love these. And I know they're like, it's just a toy, but come on. So he got me Dobby and he got me Minerva Fanatica. Yay. Oh my goodness. Love it. First off, Professor McGonagall here. Look at that face. Maybe I should just leave this one out so that way I make sure I get tons of stuff done. <laughs> um, I'm really, I'm really excited about it. And then Dobby, which makes me happy and sad at the same time because Dobby. Um, yeah, I really like it. Very happy. Um, I, I, I have three other ones. I have Harry, the first one. Like I think it's number, yeah, it's number one. So it's like the first plain Harry in the school robes. And then I have Snape and Dumbledore, um, the first Dumbledore. 
they've you know they've done different versions of the same thing but and then he also got me this and I knew this one existed um but I just didn't buy it at the time when it came out but now it's mine so this is a moleskin notebook and it's the um marauder's map oh that's fun i didn't hadn't looked on that side this says poly juice all right but anyway so it's the Mara it's the marauder's map it's got the it's a cloth um cover and then on the back oh and that's a zero to zero on it on the back it says um mischief managed i know i'm excited um the inside is fun too are they both like this so the in okay i probably should have taken that off there so it's more of the map on the front and then on the back it's just got the little like feet and then there are stickers I love a sticker. I know. So I will be putting this journal to very good use this year. Um, so yay. I'm really excited about it. And I think that is everything. Um, Think that's everything. I mean, that's like 30 minutes of me just telling you about all the crap I have. Um, but I, I really wanted to share with you. Well, I was really excited about the Harry Potter stuff. I know it doesn't really have anything to do with fiber, except that I love it, and I like fiber too. So, but um, the books I was really excited to share with you, and I wanted to show you the fiber too because this is what it's going to look like now, and then when I spin it up, it's going to look different. So you need a baseline. Because you know I will forget to take a picture. But the books are the big thing. Um, I will let you know. I've heard really good things about um, this book. Many people have recommended this one. Um, I've, that's the reason it was on my list. It's because I had heard so much about it. The Yarn Texture one. Um, a couple people that I watch. Um, I'm really behind on videos. So the couple people that I am sort of up to date with have mentioned it. The people who spin. And then, um, you know, the Ann Bud, like this is kind of a staple if you make sweaters, I think. Um, if you make sweaters, not necessarily from a pattern. I mean, you can use it for a pattern, but this really can help you determine, um, you know, like when it comes to your gauge and things like that, like helping you kind of figure out sizing, I think. Or if you need to modify something, I think it would be good. So, all right, guys, I hope that you all are doing so well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.